Welcome back to the Windows Fixer YouTube channel. Today we are tackling the issue where Windows cannot start the VGC service on your local computer. This problem often boils down to permission issues but don't worry, I'll guide you through creating a new administrator account and adjusting your UAC settings to resolve this. Let's get started. So first what we are gonna do here, we will go into the control panel. If you are using Windows 10, that's the best way to go open the control panel and then go into the user accounts now you will see here change account type the first thing is make sure you have the local account with administrator permissions but if you don't have click on add a new user in pc settings that's often solve your problem now what you are gonna do here add another user click on add now this time it will ask you to use your email for separate account but if you don't have i don't have this person sign in information just click on that and then it will ask you create a new account but again we are not gonna create any account add a user without a microsoft account click on that now simply you need to give it the name who's gonna use this pc and you can type any name then you can use password if you want otherwise just click on next and once it is done you can see the account is created but it's on local account so what we are gonna do next account options change account type and account type standard to administrator hit ok now you have all the permissions with your new account what you are gonna do here just log out your window and log in on the new user account in my case i'm not gonna do this because it will waste my time so what we are gonna do here next step you need to type here after logging on the new account you need to type here the user account control options sometimes it's appears sometimes maybe it's not so again user you will see here change user account control setting just open it and make sure by default you will see here you need to scroll it down a bit and then click on ok and then click on yes and that's it now one more thing you need to type here the services and once you are in the services simply you need to search here the vgc you will get it over here right click on it go into the properties now this time startup type choose here automatic hit apply now log on you can see here local system account allows service to interact with desktop or you can choose the specific account so in this case if you go with this like uh, this account then what you need to do here click here choose here me that you just created click on check and see it will underline which means you type the exact name right now click on ok now if you are using password then type here otherwise just remove it hit apply this count dot slash vertical backslash me has been granted the logon as a service right click on ok and then first failure just leave as it is now dependency and then click on ok you don't need to do anything and then click on start once you click on start simply restart your computer and your problem should be fixed 100 percent right now it's not working for me windows could not start the vgc service on local computer just because i set this service on a separate user account right so what we are gonna do here for me i will set it back on local system account and then hit apply and okay and it will work that's where you guys are facing the issues i hope your problem should be resolved if you have any other question let me know hey the additional tip is make sure once you create a new user account just try to play the game might be it will work but if it's not working then you can go with further settings like user account control and of course the vgc setting that i just uh give you a demonstration about that but hope this will resolve your issue see you in the next video have a good day bye bye and yeah don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos have a good day bye bye